Welcome to my podcast tutorial everyone. On this part of the tutorial, we're going to be displaying the major KPI to be some kind of easy to read and all of that. So we're going to be doing this together from the scratch. Okay, let me take you straight to a blank uh, page to start up creating this. Here we go, we have this blank slate right here. So the first thing we're going to do right now is to make sure we click right in here and come right here and click on this particular format right. So once you click on this format, what you're going to see is this particular page background right here. So click on it and have it open and scroll all the way down. So you're going to have to see this image right here. So we're going to click on the image and bring on the image we are going to use right on it. Now let us click on this particular image right here. It's going to take us to our system where we have uh, our images right in. So I have mine on download. I'm going to click on that and I know what I really want. So I'm going to click on it right here. So you have this done with that, please go ahead and take use uh, and make use of it. So now I'm going to have it open and there we go. We have it right here. But right now it's not showing anything because we actually have it on 100% transparency. So we're just going to have to reduce it and make it to amount of zero. And there we're going to have it right here. So what are we going to do next? So we just need to come right to this particular aspect here, go all the way down and go right here to this particular part and say fit. And there we go. We have it right. So we have different way or different options that we can use. You can say use, can use fill, can use fill and all that. So when we use fill, you can see how it fits into our page and all of that. That is the first thing we need to do, right? Um, the next thing right now is to have some information about a dashboard right here. So which I think is going to be very easy for you to do. Now we have this, you can see what we have typed in right here. You can actually make it some kind of like sit right the way it should be and all of that. It's very simple and easy. This is not supposed to be a problem, right? So I believe we can do this. Okay, I'm going to actually have this collapsed. So I'm going to have something like this. So I want to go to insert. And from insert, what we're going to find right here is this particular one called shapes. So I'm going to click and then I'm going to have to get this particular type of shape, right? So there we have it right here. So what we can do right now is just to make this shape you not know, as, you know, small as possible. And I'm going to actually have this shape settled down right here. And there we have this shape right now. So if you're not too comfortable with the compass of the shape, you can actually, you know, retouch this and all of that. So now click on the shape and come all the way right to this particular aspect here. And you can see the outline we have right for it. And you can see the fill color. So now the color is on blue. I want to have the change to something like white. I'm going to actually use this right here. And there we have it right now. I want to go down to where we have, I'm going to have this closed right now. So I want to come down right here and change this to something like this i want to go for something like this okay now we want to change the weight as well i'm going to change the weight to like four points so let's see what we have right now can you see this right now this is what it is so you can decide to actually play around with the weight and see what is actually going to work best for you i'm going to use five to see now i have something like this so all we need to do right now is just for we to double this that is exactly what you need to do right uh, as you can see, I have resized it and got it to duplicate that into three. I'm going to hold my control and I have them selected at the same time. Now we have them like this. So what we can do right now, let us go to format and see what it is that we have right there. So coming to format, you can see this align right here. Under the align, click on this particular align and say align tab. And that is exactly what it is. So I'm going to click right here again. I'm going to go for this particular one right here, distribute horizontally. And here we have it. So we have it justified and it's, it's some kind of sit right where we really want it to be. And I the first step we need to take. Okay, let's see what it is that we need to do again. I want to click right on this one. I want to actually have this particular outline changed differently. I want to go to outline. I'm going to click right on this one. I want to use something like this. Let's see what it is that we have. Can you see this right now? But I'm not too cool or saturated with the color. I want to just have it reduced a little bit so you can see what it is that I have right now. So now the transparency is like on 24 and that is very awesome. Okay, in case you've not watched the first part and second part of this video, it's a very awesome video. I'm going to take you through it right now. Now here we have this one right here right now. So if you've not watched it, you can actually go ahead and take a look at how to create something as awesome as this, which can actually make you to switch from one chart to another and all that. So very awesome, very awesome. So this can actually help you to save a lot of time and actually uh, create analysis in one single page and it's going to make a lot of sense and all that. So now that you've seen this particular feature right now and what we have right here, so let us go back to the one we are creating.
um the next step right now is to bring in some images right here i want to come right here go to this particular part where it says image i'm going to click in there i want to go right here i want to pick this particular image right here i have two dollars right here it's two different dollars i want to use this one right i'm going to double click it i'm going to have it right up for me here and there we have it for now we just have to make sure we set settle it down right here because we're going to have to bring more images right in Let's head back to the same place again. I'm going to actually go ahead and actually go select what I need. I'm going to use this particular YouTube world here. I'm going to bring it all the way right here. So now, the next one is going to be, I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller. So we need to make them sit rightly right here. All right, everyone. I have brought all the images I've used right here. So it is time for me to get much more advanced about this. Okay, let us come right here and select this particular text box, right? I'm going to come right in here and type in my uh, TV view, something like this. So TV view, I want to have it selected, just like go ahead and highlight it. Once you've done that, what you can see right now is this particular aspect here. So click on it and go for area black. Let us find that and see if we have it. So we got it. Uh, I want to have it on 40. Now here we go. We have something like this. I want to change the color to white. Nicely. So we just have to make sure we make it a little bit smaller to fit into what we really want to do. Just open it up a little bit. And once we've done that, we want to come right here and make sure it's in the middle of it. That is cool. That is cool. Release it. And you just have to make sure you have to bring it all the way down. So right now, things are not really too right with this right now. So if we go right here, we can see we have, you know, uh, a background right on it. So what we can do now is just to make sure we play it off. Now no background and that is okay. Next again is to Ctrl C to have it copied and Ctrl V to have it pasted right in. I'm going to drag this one right to this particular aspect here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V to have it pasted again because we want to actually make sure we get this for another part of it. Now on this one, I just want to come right here. I want to type in my YouTube view. So YouTube view. So we just need to put views right here. So I'll have your S writing. And right now on this one, we just have to make sure we come right and open it up. I'm going to have it opened up a little bit. So that you can have all the textures up. Now we have all of them, so we just want to make sure we hold on our control and have them all selected. Or you can actually make sure you just do this particular selection like this. And that is cool, right? So once you've done that, you know what it is. Go right here and uh, hit on your align and just make sure they all align to the top and we have them nicely done. This is the first stop. This is the other stop we need to take. And let's see how we can take more steps to have something very awesome created. Okay, let's start from TV view right here. I'm going to have this particular place opened. So watch the first and second part of this video for you to understand what it is that we're doing right in here. Okay, right now, as you can see, we have uh, different types of views right at this particular spot here. I want to have it opened up very much. So, so what we don't really have right now is number of uh, TV view. So I'm going to come right here and actually have this one selected. Once I've done that, I want to come right here. Now I want to come and actually copy this, copy it, I just want to recreate it. I want to go right here and create a new measure for it. And what we can do right now quickly, I just want to have it pasted once the measure comes up. Okay, right now I'm going to paste this one right here. Now what I want to have right now inside here is just going to be my TV view. Okay, TV view. I want to come right here. Instead of me to have this particular part of this YouTube view, I want to have my TV, uh, my TV right in there. So TV view. And quickly, we've just got, got the needs created, so now that is all we need to do. Okay, right now, here we have it. I'm going to click on it. That is all we need to do. So right now, we have it on a chart. We don't want to have it on a chart. We just want to have it on a card, on a single card. And there we go. We have it on a single card right here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So we just have to make sure we go and go ahead and do this. We don't want to show it in, um, in, 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 um, in thousands. But we don't see it because this actually displays in millions. So go ahead and watch the first video. You still see the reason why I said it is in some kind of in million because I already explained to you what the data set is all about. Okay, all I need right now is just to scroll all the way down to this particular end right here. I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna have right on this one, I'm gonna have it you know deselected right now. As you can see, we have just gotten deselected. I want to come right to this particular data label right here. I want to put it, take it off from auto to none. That is what it is. So right now we don't have a display on that. So what we can do right now is just to come right, uh, have this one closed. I want to go right to this particular background aspect of it. I want to have it removed and all that. 
So once we've done that, this is what it is that we need to have. Okay, quickly, let us go back to this particular measure we had created. So I want to make sure I have it on, uh, on comma separator. And just want to put it on some kind of, uh, I'll take off the decimal point out of it. Just have to put it on zero decimal. I hit enter. That is all you need to do. So go ahead and copy it and have it pasted. And once you have done that, you're just going to have to duplicate it for other part of it. What we need to do is just to have this one changed from TV view to YouTube view. And you know what our, t our YouTube view is all about? So here we go, we have it right here. Now I want to come on this particular YouTube view right here because it's actually displaying on its proper, you know, uh, million, wherever. So I want to come right here and say auto. And there we're going to have it right now. I love that. So now this is the estimated cost for the ad. And I want to come right here and go ahead and actually select the estimated cost for the ad and all that. So first of all, we have to click on it and make sure we come right here and go ahead and actually have this one removed and we want to put on our estimated cost. Okay guys, if you are lost anywhere, what you need to do right now is to go back to the first video, second video and watch it and see what we're doing right here, how it really makes sense and all that. So we need to make sure we have it in zero decimal, uh, just like this, just make sure you click on this and you're going to have it just that way. And all that so what we need to do we you know how we have our comma separator right on it if we need to and all that so you can click on that to display more information about this dashboard come right to this particular insert expert go to shapes and we want to take the take up this line right here and we have the line being dragged down for us i want to actually make sure i go ahead and extend the line down to this particular part right here once we've just gotten this done what we can do right now is just to close this particular gap right here and we can make sure we move the line a little bit to the top level right here. And once we've done that right now, we can see the line aspect here. We just want to go through the line. I want to change the color of the line to something as this. Uh, I believe that is cool. We just want to make sure we put it on three points. Let's see. Uh, I think it's going to be too much for us. Let's just have it on two points and see what it is that we're going to have, right? So now two points will be cool for us. And now we just have to add a little text just to make sure we get some information being passed across and all that. So now here we go. Let us add this particular text we have right here. I just pasted some text inside here right now. It can show up on a ton of this particular background. And there we have it. So we just want to make sure we go ahead and actually, you know, get it a little bit smaller and actually have to drag it down. After doing this, I love my dashboard to look very, you know, uh explain that so i just want to come right here and select this particular circle we're gonna have something weird as this so we just have to make sure we we adjust it to what we want and we change the color and all of that to fit into what it is so now we have a proper circle right here we just have to make it a little bit smaller than this and we're gonna have something just like this right so i'm gonna move it right to this particular end sorry for that now let us readjust it so we're gonna make sure we have it on the normal cycle once we have it right now to move it just click on this particular ellipse is it ellipsis i don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> but i move it down to this particular aspect here and i still need to work on this by making it a little bit smaller than this i just want to make sure we have it something as small as this and the ellipsis is going to be held again i want to bring it down and here we go now we just want to go ahead and change the color to something beautiful as what it is that we want to have click on this particular aspect here go right on this i'm gonna have a change to this particular color and for the outline i want to go ahead and turn off the outline we don't want that so now we have something like this it matches so well now we can do the same thing to this as well i actually go ahead and move this you know i love to actually create a very nice design and all that so after the analysis experiment because i always tell you guys that you know you know dashboard creation is just like a art and science put together so the art expert of it is just to make sure your dashboard looks very much beautiful. And right now, I don't want to use this color for it. I can go ahead and actually have the ch color change from this particular color to something like this. And all that. So we have something like this. Okay, we'll see what to do, right? Uh, we can show the likes and all of that, which I believe you can do already if you have been filling up from this brush. I don't like to actually take much of the time. Let's just go to the previous one, obviously. Now here we go and all that. So you can display, you know, this likes right here, just like the way it is right now. It's very simple and easy. You can show every that information and all that. So as you can see right now, everything looks just like the one we have right there and all that. So very simple, and very easy. And this navigation, you can do that yourself because already we had actually walked through, you know, this in the previous video uh, in uh, in my other videos, guys. 
that is beautiful i just want to make sure i just give you this little quick you know insight on how to make you know pop your dashboard or report and create it and it looks kind of very very clean and you know uh, on point right guys all right thank you very much for watching if you're actually here for the first time and you have not subscribed to my youtube channel you know what to do go ahead and hit the subscribe button